your girl was not ready. What is up everyone? Welcome to today's Vlogmas episode. Austin and I are going to take the dogs to get Christmas pictures done today and I'm so stinking excited. So I figured I would show you the look that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a pretty bold lip but neutral eyes. I don't have anything on my face right now. It does look a little beat up because I got a chemical peel a couple days ago. And then, you know those little circle Peter Thomas Roth pimple patches? I put one on because I was like, I have a photo shoot this week. I am not going to pick my face. And then you know what happened? I got a chemical burn from the little sticker. So love that for me. So I really got to cover that up. It's like, oh, it's so red right here. Oh, okay, anyway, we are just going to freaking get into it. As always, I will link every single thing in the description box for you guys with a direct link to the product. So here we go. First thing up on the agenda is this Too Faced Major Hangover. This is like a coconut primer water and I like to use this before my actual primer. I have a mirror right here so hopefully I'm not looking like too far off into the distance but I like to make sure my face is so moisturized before I put anything on it because my skin up here, oh girl, it is so dry. I am also going to put on a little bit of this Olay Henriksen Banana Brightening Eye Cream. Absolutely love this guy. My skin has looked better. It really has. We're about to start, about to start my period this week, so it is, whew, it's not looking too hot. Once this has dried, a little bit. I'm going to go in with the Tula Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer. I'm almost out of this bottle and I have so many more, thankfully. But this just makes your skin look so nice and dewy, but also gives you a blurred out look. So it's still kind of like filling in your pores a little bit, but it's not getting flaky or matte. It's still a really hydrating primer, which I love never been able to find a primer that doesn't do that weird thing when you put it on on top of your moisturizer and it folds off like dead skin. I hate that. Just gotta clip this little guy out of the way so I don't get that in my hair. So this is a triple whammy today. Usually I have been going in with the uh, Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream and the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Drops, but I am not as tan as I have been because obviously it's winter. So. I'm only gonna use like one little drop of this guy, but I am going to mix in and kind of put this on my face first. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. They're like illuminating drops. They don't really have much coverage, but I just like the way that it kind of brightens up your face and gives you a little bit more of like a, I don't know, it's not, it's really not like foundation, but it just says, for a superstar youth glow. That's literally all it says, but it does have a tad bit of color. As you can see, obviously it's a little bit too light for me, which is fine. This is in the color light medium. Put a couple of dots like that on my face and then I go ahead with my regular formulation. There we go. And I put about one and a half pumps of the CC cream and a little half of the debronzy drops. Mix those together on the back of my hand and then put this all over my face. I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and just press this product into my skin. I don't like using brushes around this time of the year, especially just because my skin was peeling from that chemical peel the other day. And I just feel like when I use a brush, I end up dragging the product onto my skin instead of actually getting it in. So I'm just making sure that I am pushing this product all the way in. I used to do my eyebrows first and then I don't know what. I know it looks a lot different like in the camera light because the light's so bright on my face, but in a couple of minutes it will oxidize uh, and be kind of like the exact color as my regular. And uh, the color of this CC cream is just medium. I always typically stick with medium. If I go light, it sometimes can be a little bit too yellowy for me. And then if I go medium tan, it's too 
orange or bronzy. So I kind of like to stay in the middle and then use these little drops to kind of darken it up if I need to. Next up, I'm going in with my Benefit Cakeless Concealer. Absolutely love this concealer. I am doing this a little bit heavier than I would typically go, and this is because we're doing profesh pictures today. Okay, so this might be a lot for, you know, an everyday look. And also, I'm gonna take the time to contour and highlight and bake my skin today, which I just learned how to do, you know, just trying to be a little bit more, oh, billionaire sweater. Yes, can you see that? <laughs> I'm just going to then do the same exact thing Dab that concealer all the way and drag it up, making sure that I'm not actually pulling anything, just pressing the concealer in, in light little motions like this. I'm really excited to show you how I learned how to like bake my contour so that it stays because I never knew how to do this and I, I YouTube educated myself, okay? So I'm really pumped about it. Now I am going to take just a regular old, this is from like the older Kat Von D shade and light palette, which I do have right here. I'm gonna take a mixture of these two top colors right here and I'm going to set my under eye with this. Before I actually get into the actual contouring, I am gonna do my brows just because I want them to be nice and solid. I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, kind of square definer brush, and this is in the color Soft Brown. I don't really need to do my brows a ton. Like, I'm not pushing very hard on this product because I already have my eyebrows microbladed with powder. So, they're pretty much good to go. I just like to give them a little bit more of a defined look, especially once I put my foundation on. Sometimes I can kind of get foundation on my brows. That's just what that brow looks like compared to the other one. Not a huge difference, but I like me a good brow. This is my janky brow, the one that never cooperates ever. I hate this eyebrow. Then I'm just going to take another Anastasia product. This is her new Brow Wiz Gel, and this is in the color Medium Brown, so just a tad darker, but I do like my brows to be a little bit darker than their natural color, which I don't think you can actually tell in this video, but they are like a golden blonde, especially during the summer. So I like to keep those babies nice and brunette. Why does this brow do this to me? Why are you playing with me today? Please, no. <laughs> okay, so this is the weird part, which I never thought to do. And I actually went back and watched some of Jaclyn Hill's old makeup tutorials from like back in the day. She used to bake her contour slash highlight with loose, like light slash translucent loose setting powder with a damp beauty blender. And when I first saw her do this, I was like, no way, this is gonna be really messy. Then I did it and I actually really liked the way that it looked. So I'm gonna show you, I'm using actually the CC, I mean, the uh, Thrive Cosmetics translucent powder. It's just a regular soft focus HD setting powder. Comes in a little guy like this. And it's really, really nice powder. I'm gonna get my beauty blender really, really in there. And I am going to press this underneath my eyes. You just have to take a couple rounds and do the same thing where you put on your concealer and we're not leaving it like this. We are just going to let it sit while I go ahead and do my contour. So I know it looks ridiculous. Don't worry. It's not gonna look like this once I'm done. I don't really do like a ton. <laughs> I don't really do a ton. Oh, yes, look great. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Nudie Sticks Bondi Bay. This is the one that I've been raving about the last couple months. Absolutely love this. I like dabbing it on and I am not going to curve the contour. I'm gonna try to put it straight down, just kind of like from the top of my ear downwards, just like that. And I'd like to do it with this first because it's a little bit more controlled and I have like, I don't know, I just have better control over where I'm putting it. So I kind of dab this first to make sure I like where it's going. And I start with a little bit and then I kind of work my way up and I blend it in with the brush. I don't like to, put on like a swipe or do anything crazy because knowing me, I'll overdo it and then I'll hate it and I have to wipe off my whole face. I'm sure we have all been there and I don't have time for that today. Stopping just about like right at my cheekbones here because I don't want to like pull my face in too much. I'm gonna take this little brush 
Now it's okay if this wipes off the setting uh, powder, the translucent powder that you had on there because we're buffing this out anyway. And like I said, I'm going to wipe that off. But this is just kind of going to blend this all in really seamlessly. I also like to do my contour a little bit higher because I have a pretty round face and if I pull my contour down too low, it is not a good look. Really accentuates my chunky head as the YouTube comments say. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it up on the top part of my forehead so it matches here. So as you can see, it kind of wiped off a little bit under the under eyes, but that's okay. I'm going to go in now with, this is an Eco Tools brush, kind of similar to um, what we were just doing with the Beauty Blender, but this I'm going to take with this kind of short haired, it's a very dense brush. Like it just it allows you to place the product exactly where you want it. And again, this is kind of a biatch because the powder is kind of hard to get out. This is a lot, like way more than I normally do, so just keep that in mind. I'm also going to set my chin here. It does not have to be perfect, just little dabs like this. And we're gonna leave it like that for like five, 10 minutes or so. Take the other end of the Kat Von D palette and go in with this palette that my bestie got me for my birthday. This is the Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad and it has a ton of different things in it. I have my other empty one over there because I was using it, but I'm gonna go in with Hula today and kind of just go over right where that contour is to set it with powder because I'm using cream and I don't want it to move, especially like during pictures and you know, like your face is moving and all that stuff, smiling. I also have this one from, oh, this is so pretty. This is an Anastasia glow kit that Erin gave me as well and I really wanna try it, but this is not the time to be trying shit right now. Okay, so next, we're going to go in with a different blush today. This is actually from MAC and it is called Desert Rose. This is a very, very, very pretty blush with any type of dark or super uh, bold lip because it's not really too much and it's not a very bright pinky um, blush. It's a very kind of mauve-y, like, like a dusty rose. I guess they really, they really nailed it with that one. So I kind of like to put this right on my cheekbones in like a little circular motion and then kind of fan it upwards like this. This side is coming off, but it's okay. It's gonna look nice and blurred when we are done. As I was doing this, Erin texted me and she's like, you need to bring the contour, the translucent powder all the way to your face. So thank you, Erin, for looking out here. If you're watching this, go all the way to your face. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not a beauty YouTuber. I don't know these things, okay? My new favorite highlighter, I've talked about this in my Ulta haul video. I'm obsessed with it. In order to kind of make this highlight a little bit more precise, I'm gonna take a smaller puffy brush like this. And again, kind of like dab it on instead of dragging it. I personally like to highlight the tip of my cheekbones because they're just naturally a lot higher and I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like from the side, it just doesn't look as good as when I look straight on and you see like the little glimmers of highlight, you know? So I'm gonna highlight here because I'm going to do a very, very bold lip. I do like this highlighter because it's not very loose, so you have a little bit more control with it. I feel like with the loose highlighters, it's easy for it to just be like, whoa, everywhere, you know? So now that this has been sitting on the face for a little bit, I'm going to take, uh, let's see, where's my floopy brush? Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals, and I'm going to sweep that away. Now, if it ends up where you feel like it's too light at the bottom, you can always go in with a little bit of a beauty blender from what your makeup was before, like you know your CC cream or foundation, whatever you're using, and kind of just sculpt out the little bottom of your jawline. But I feel like you can definitely see from this angle, it just gives you a little bit more of like a chiseled jawline, which I clearly don't have. So I love it. And then if you need to, just go in and kind of sculpt it out a little bit more if you feel like you kind of accidentally wiped any away. 
just all about the blending. That's what I've learned. This is what I've learned. I don't really like to do mine too harsh because I don't like when you see like a super harsh contour line, especially for things like Christmas pictures. You know, I'm still trying to give like, obviously this is not a natural look, but you know what I'm saying. I kind of don't want my skin to look like I painted it on. I like that it has a little bit of like a seamless look to it and it still has a bit of glow. Now that I have an entire mess over here, let's go with the lashes first. So I'm going to curl my own natural lashes first because I'm going to be using um, false lashes. I always like to make sure that my real lashes have a nice curl to them and a little bit of mascara so it kind of blends in with the falsies. Sometimes I feel like if you don't do that to your lashes first and you put um, false lashes on, you will be able to see, especially from the side, your real lashes in combination with the false lashes. Really like, this is actually a sample, it's a little Lancome guy and it's an eyelash primer. So I've been taking this and just kind of giving them a little bit of a floofity floof here. This is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. Still my absolute favorite mascara of all time. I love this mascara. Every single one that I have tried to beat this one with, I just can't beat it. So it's staying as my ride or die mascara. Just a little light coat, nothing crazy. And I I think I am going to take a little bit of Max Soft Brown. This is such a good like blender color, transition color. It's just like a really neutral color that you can honestly use with any type of eye look you are going for. I wasn't going to do anything, but you know what? I feel like I need a little something up there, especially to make sure that my eyes don't crease. I am getting hot doing this. These people who are makeup gurus. These are House of Lashes Boudoir Lights. I love these guys. They looked the least dramatic out of all the ones that I saw. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on him. I might do something like this. All I think about is, careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob. I let it get a little bit tacky. I'm really struggling over here. I feel like you really have to push them together with your natural lashes so they don't look like super fake. I, one eye is always gonna be better. It just, it's just how it is. Remember when I went to Ulta and I got this guy in my Ulta haul a couple videos back and I didn't like it? Turns out that I actually like it for my lower lashes. So to give this guy some use, I have been using it as my bottom lash line only. I think some of the glue got on the bottom part of my lash over there, it looks like a mess. Okay. All right, that does not look so bad. Okay, before I even go in with my lip, which is going to be the final thing, I'm just gonna take some MAC Fix Plus. This used to be like a ride or die for me, and I don't know why I ever kind of like straight away from it, because I really like it. It just reminds me of like middle school, that smell. Fix Plus has such a distinct smell to it. Now that that's done, the final part and the most fun is the lips. I'm gonna take a big drink of water before I do this. I'm gonna my gallon. Made sure that I took everything off them and they are nice and dry for this. I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit. This is uh, red velvet. This is like a set. It comes with a lip liner and a lipstick. Absolutely love this, but you have to be so dang precise with this. It's not even funny. One wrong move, and I swear you gotta take the whole thing off. Okay, so I like to start from the bottom and then kind of work my way around, and I don't just do like one big line and then go in. I am going to start here. This is a very pigmented pencil, like extremely. And then I always like, lift up and check to make sure. I'm just gonna leave it like this, actually. So that's about all I do with the lip liner, just to give it a really sharp edge. And then I'm gonna take the actual matte liquid lip and do the same thing, but just kind of starting in the middle. I really like the way that her matte liquid lips smell. It's like vanilla cake batter.
Okay, we're, we're coming along good. I have a very natural like droop to my lip on the left side and I try not to overline that side because it's just my natural like, you know, non-symmetrical face. If I do it too much, you can tell that I overlined it. Yay! I didn't screw it up, I was really nervous. Oh my gosh, okay. Hi, okay, don't lick my face though because that's caca. All right, so then just as like a last little finishing touch up thing, I always go back in with another, like a little, just a teeny, teensy, teensy little bit of blush because sometimes I feel like after I've already like touched my face with a uh, highlighter and, and bronzer and stuff, like it can kind of fall off a tad. Okay, so I, for like a little finishing touch for the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna take this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 and I'm gonna stick it right in my highlighter. Oh, excuse you. And I'm going to put it right on the inner corner. Just kind of like brings your eyes a little bit more poppy, you know? I like the way that looks in pictures as well. It's really cute. And then whatever's like left on this brush, kind of tap off and I put right underneath my eyebrows. Bailey stuff. Oh, you got your sweater. Yeah, she's got her sweater. So that is the end of this uh, Christmas makeup tutorial look. Obviously not with this bow, so we're gonna take that out. Dry shampoo, and that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to show you our Christmas pictures. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll see you in my next vlog video.